gentlemen, and welcome to Bowditch Field here in Framingham. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hiller's Senior Ruth Baseball on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, John Ritz on camera, and the first hitter is Tommy Ambersoni, who steps in, wind up, and the pitch. A little high there, one and oh. The pitcher for Framingham is Andrew Keene getting the start today. A 7.45 start time for this game. It was pushed back a little bit due to the Legion game that took place between Framingham and Lemonster before Senior Ruth Baseball. As that last pitch, a little off the mark. We'll take you through the lineup in just a moment. Hopkinton, Senior Ruth, five wins, three losses, and a tie on the season. Framingham is four and four. As there is a ball, two and one is the count. Tommy Ambersoni starting things off for the Hillers. Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman, is batting second as that's fouled away, two and two. Drew Rancatori, the left fielder, hitting third. Alex Barker hooked, the first baseman hitting cleanup. Connor Kelly, the right fielder, batting fifth. Jack Breslin, the DH, hitting sixth. Dylan Locke, the catcher, hitting seventh. Chase Doherty, the second baseman, hitting eighth. And Matt Cooper, the shortstop, hitting ninth. As this is fouled towards us. John Waters is the pitcher for Hopkinton here today. And we'll take you through the Framingham field as well in just a moment. Wide up and the pitch. And this is on the ground, up the middle, well by the second baseman, and the throw is going to get away from the first baseman, Brian O'Donnell. A tough play to make. But we'll give it the error, which allows Tommy Ambersoni to reach. That'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman for Hopkinton. Andrew Keene, your pitcher for Framingham. Cody Coleman is the catcher. Brian O'Donnell at first base. Alexis Rivera, the second baseman. The shortstop is John Beverly. The third baseman is Rodrigo Ramirez from left to right. Nate Thurber, Antonio Rivera, and Luke Springs wind up in the pitch. And there is a strike to Sheamus. 0-1 oh is the count. Tom Nappy on the call. John Ritz on camera. Happy to have some Hopkinton Senior Ruth baseball for you this evening. An 0-2 oh count now on Sheamus. Our first broadcast of the season of Hopkinton Senior Ruth baseball. And we hope to have a couple more this year as well as some playoff games for you. As that is going to hit Sheamus, so it'll be two aboard and no outs for Hopkinton. And now Drew Rancatori will step up to the plate. Head coach Steve Samos bringing back the Hopkinton Senior Ruth program to give the Hillers an opportunity to play together this year after the cancellation of the spring season. As Rancatori awaits the pitch and he'll hit this one in the air. That is a fair ball and it's caught as the pitcher was called off by the third baseman, Rodrigo Ramirez, one away. Runners remain on first and second. That'll bring up Alex Barker Hook. These two teams, Hopkinton and Framingham, did meet before earlier this season. Framingham got the 4-3 win in that game. Wind up and the pitch. A little outside, says the umpire, who is positioned behind the pitcher's mound with the COVID distancing rules implemented to many of the leagues throughout the state. Both runners with a slight lead. That pitch is down low. Players and coaches have to wear the masks in the bench area. The umpire is also wearing the masks. As Keen looks at second and deals. This is hit in the air, a liner that'll drop into left field. That's going to be a fair ball. Ambrosoni will be held up at third base. It'll be bases loaded with one out for Hopkinton. Ambrosoni at third, Sheamus at second. Parker hooked to first, Connor Kelly to the plate. Well, it is a nice night here at Bowditch Field. 
as Kelly steps in. Temperatures in the low 80s now. It was certainly a hot and humid day, but it is starting to cool off. As the lefty, Connor Kelly, faces a 0 and 1 count. Slight lead by the runners, and that'll hit him, and a run will score. So just like that, it's one to nothing Hopkinton as Ambersoni comes around to score. Up to third goes Sheamus, Barker Hook to second, Connor Kelly to first, Jack Breslin to the plate. Well, he took one for the team, and he gets a run for the team there. Line up and the pitch. Fouled away. We do have some stats on this Hopkinton team as well. We'll get to you throughout the broadcast. Jack Breslin hitting a 250 on the season, 400 on base percentage. Wind up and the pitch. And there's a called strike. Oh, and two. He's tripled twice and has six RBIs. And he'll get a piece of this one in the air to right field, and it is caught. And the runner from third is going to have to tag back up. He will do so and get back safely to third base. Two away, bases remain loaded. Dylan Locke, the catcher, will step in to the right-handed batter's box. Dylan Locke hitting a 333 on the season. 429 on base percentage. Only six at-bats for Locke. But getting the start behind the plate here today as the first pitch is down low. One and oh. The right-handed Andrew Keene delivers. There's a pitch in there for a strike, one and one. Lights starting to come on here at Bowditch Field. Line up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to left center, and that'll drop down for a hit. One run is in to score. Here comes Barker Hook. He will score. And now a third run. Kelly trying to score, and he will as well. It's a four to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. A three RBI double by Dylan Locke. Seamus, Barker, Hook, and Kelly all in to score to clear off the bases for the Hillers. And now Chase Doherty, the second baseman, steps in. Line up and the pitch. And a little high there, one and oh. Keen takes a look at second base and deals. And this is a rope into left field. That'll get down for a hit. Dylan Locke being waved around. Here he comes, and it's five to nothing, Hopkinton. The bats are striking today, an RBI single for Chase Doherty. And now Matt Cooper, the shortstop, will step in. First inning fireworks by the Hillers. Now one of the differences in rules between Senior Ruth and Legion Ball is that there are 10 hitters in the lineup for Senior Ruth. So each team does have the opportunity to have either the pitcher hit or what they call an extra hitter. So John Waters, the pitcher, is on deck. Keen deals. Slightly inside there. One and one. So it's a 10-man lineup rather than the traditional nine-man lineup. This pitch is down low. Two and one is the count. A five-nothing lead for Hopkinton. 
The bat striking early. That pitch down low. The 2-2 pitch. And he'll get a piece of it over to left field, and that'll drop in for a base hit. A single for Cooper. Chase Doherty advancing to second. And it looks like they got him off the bag at second for the third out. But the Hopkinton Hillers are able to plate five runs. We'll head to the bottom of the first. You are tuned in to Hopkinton at Hillers Senior Ruth Baseball on HCAM. We are set for the bottom of the first inning, a 5-0 lead for Hopkinton over Framingham. The bats got going early on in the top half of the first. Pitching for the Hillers is John Waters as Alexis Rivera, the second baseman, set to step in. John Waters has thrown one inning for the Hillers this season. A nice pitch there for strike one. In that inning, he struck out three, did not give up any runs. So he's back out there for some significant work today. Lineup and the pitch, fouled away. The lineup for four and four Framingham, Alexis Rivera starting things off. He's the second baseman. Luke Springs, the right fielder, bats second. Jack Beverly, the shortstop, hitting third. Cody Coleman, the catcher, hitting fourth. Rodrigo Ramirez, the third baseman, hitting fifth. Andrew Keene, the pitcher, hitting sixth. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman, hitting seventh. As Waters to the set. Slightly high there. Nate Thurber, the left fielder, hitting eighth. Antonio Rivera, the center fielder, hitting ninth. And Aiden Dunbar is the extra hitter, hitting tenth. A one and one count. And there's a ball, two and one. The Hillers field, John Waters on the mound, Dylan Locke behind the plate, Alex Barker hook at first base, Chase Doherty the second baseman, Matt Cooper the shortstop. Swing and a miss. Ronnie Sheamus the third baseman from left to right, Drew Rancatori, Tommy Ambersoni, and Connor Kelly. As Alexis Rivera goes down swinging, one away, Luke Springs to the plate. Waters from the stretch. He'll deal a strike there. Oh, and one. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. One and one. Well, the Hillers certainly excited to be together to play some summer ball after. The cancellation of the spring season. Good to see him out there getting some good experience in summer Ruth ball. A two and one count on Springs. And he'll follow this one off. Two and two. And a short amount of foul territory here along the first and third base side here at Bowditch. Swing and a miss, strikeout number two for Waters. That'll bring up Jack Beverly, the shortstop. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Strike two. Waters delivering with authority. And working rather quickly, too. As this is hit in the air, foul territory just behind us. Count remains 0 and 2. 
two outs here in the bottom of the first. And this is up the middle, gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first is in time. A six to three out, a nice throw across by Matt Cooper. One, two, three, they go. We head to the top of the second. Hopkinton leading Framingham in senior Ruth baseball action, five to nothing. Top of the second inning, a five to nothing Hopkinton lead. Due up is 10, one and two. John Waters, the pitcher to start things off. It's a 10 man batting rotation here in senior Ruth play. You could either have the pitcher hit or have an extra hitter in the lineup. Lineup and the pitch. And he'll get a big piece of this one over to left field, ranging back and making the catch right before the fence is Nate Thurber, one away. Tommy Ambersoni will step in. Andrew Keene in his second inning of work. Ended up giving up five runs in the first, three of which were earned. And this is hit in the air over to center field and it is caught two away. Quick contact being made in this game so far. Brownie Sheamus will step in. He was hit by a pitch in the first inning. Keen delivers. There's a strike. We'll see if Keen has settled down a little bit since that five run first inning. And that hit him. Second time Sheamus has been hit by a pitch. Drew Rancatori will step in. Drew Rancatori off to a 500 batting average on the season, 24 at bats. And he'll take a strike. 481 on base percentage. Of course, Drew was a member of the Ashland Legion team last season. That pitch down low, and the runner from first gonna take off as the ball gets away from the catcher. Is he gonna go to third? No, he'll stay at second. So Sheamus advances on the pass ball. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It goes. Sheamus going to try to score. No, he'll hold up and go back to third. A single by Drew Rancatori. That'll bring up Alex Parker Hook, the first baseman, who's off to a 200 batting average, 25 at bats, 355 on base percentage. He has driven in seven runs and scored two. Two on, two outs for Hopkinton. Keen looks at first and deals. There's a strike. And the runner from first is going to take off. Frank Atori with the stolen base. The dimensions here at Bowditch Field. 346 to left as that pitch is down low. 364 to center, 304 to right. Barker Hook steps back in and awaits the pitch. And he'll get a big piece of this one over to left field and it's caught by Thurber for the third out of the inning. The Hillers lead it five to nothing as we head to the bottom of the second on H cam. Bottom of the second inning, four, five and six, two up for Framingham. Five to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers as John Waters set to work in to the bottom of the second after a one, two, three, bottom of the first. 
And he delivers strike one, a nice fastball there. Waters awaits the sign. A little outside. One and one. Well, this is a pitcher that certainly has an interesting future in baseball. Some good talent on the hill. And this is going to be hit up the middle. Glove by the second baseman. Throw to first. Not a problem. Four to three. Four out number one. Rodrigo Ramirez, the third baseman, will step in. Waters awaits the sign and deals. Swing and a miss. Oh, and one. Wind up and the pitch. And he checked his swing, but he went around. Oh, and two. Waters deals, and a little low, says the umpire. Oh, no, strike three, excuse me. Two away. That'll bring up Andrew Keene. It's the third strikeout of the game for Waters. Inside there, one and oh. There's a called strike, one and one. The one one pitch. Upstairs. John Waters, a quick worker on the mound. Wind up and the pitch. Outside. Three and one. There's a strike, it'll fill up the count. Waters eyeing his fourth strikeout of the game. And this is up the middle, back to Waters, throw to first, not a problem. One to three, four out number three. To the top of the third we go, Hopkinton five, Framingham nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Aylers Summer Ruth Baseball on HCAM. Keen set to deal. There's a strike. And he'll get a piece of this one in the air over to right center, and it's caught by Luke Springs, one away. That'll bring up Jack Breslin, the DH. Breslin flew out to right field his last time up. He'll take ball one. One and O. Oh. Inside, two and O. Oh. The Hillers scoring all five runs in the first inning as the bats really got going early on. Things have come down a little bit recently as there's a strike, two and one. Hillers as a team have scored 51 runs on the season. Here's strike two, two and two. That was heading into this game. Wind up and the pitch. 
And this is going to be a slow roller up the right side, picked up by the second baseman, throw to first, is dropped. Breslin's going to beat it out. I'm giving that a single. Tough play to make as it rolled so awkwardly along the grass. So Breslin is aboard with the one-out hit. That'll bring up Dylan Locke, the catcher. Well, doing some quick math, 51 runs in nine games, averaging about seven runs a game. There's ball one. Pretty impressive by this Hopkinton team. Keen deals, fouled away. One and one. Keen set to deal. He'll deal low. Two and one. Runner on first, one out for the Hillers. Runner taking off from first, a swing and a miss. The throw up is not in time. Stolen base by Breslin. Two and two is the count on Dylan Locke. Line up and the pitch. Gets a piece of this one left side. Is it going to stay fair? No, foul. Well, the sun in its last moments of the day here at about it, the lights are on. It's turned into a very nice night for baseball. A nice breeze coming in. And this is gonna be fouled away. Line up and the pitch. Inside, full count. Good crowd on hand here on this Monday night as well to take in the action. Everybody, of course, properly socially distancing. Line up and the pitch, down low, that's a walk. So Dylan Locke heads the first base, two on, one out. Chase Doherty, the second baseman to the plate. Swing and a miss. Chase Doherty had an RBI single in the first inning, which scored the fifth Hiller's run of the inning and game. There's a strike, 0 oh and 2. Chase Doherty a 417 average on the season. And he'll foul that one away. 5.33 on base percentage, 12 at-bats. He has scored three runs. And now had his first RBI back in the first inning, and he'll get a piece of this one over to center field. It's caught. Two away. Two on, two outs. Matt Cooper, the shortstop to the plate. Matt Cooper, a 125 average and 16 at-bats. Did have a single in the first inning. Upstairs. A 1-0 pitch from Keene. Leg lift and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one is the count. Keen 
Keen deals. And this is fouled away. One and two. One two pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll wrap up the inning. To the bottom of the third we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham five to nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Summer Ruth Baseball and H Cam. Bottom of the third inning, seven, eight, and nine do up for Framingham. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman to step in. Followed by Nate Thurber and Antonio Rivera as John Waters is set to work. There's a strike. A pair of one, two, three innings for Framingham so far in this game. Ball one, says the umpire, one and one. Down low, two and one. Two one pitch. There's a strike. There's the two two. Upstairs. Full count now on O'Donnell. And this is fisted foul. Count remains full. Water set to deal. There's a strike, one away. Nice pitch there to get the K for Waters. That is his fourth strikeout of the game. Nate Thurber steps in. He deals. Slightly high, says the umpire, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. And he couldn't hold his swing, one and one. Waters delivers. And this is hit high in the air, right side, and it's caught. And that hung up there quite a while, and Chase Doherty able to make the out. Two away, Antonio Rivera will step in. What a hang time on that one. Water set to deal. Slightly high. The 1 0. There's a strike. 1 and 1. So the Framingham Legion team is. Still here taking in the action. They played just before this game. So that pitch was low from Waters, two and one. The Ashland Sevens Legion, well, not technically a Legion team this year, but in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League in action at Norwood this evening. That game was a 7.30 start time. There's a strike, two and two.
Little high there, that'll fill up the count. It is pretty remarkable how quick Waters works on the mound. He does not take a lot of time between pitches. And he'll deal strike three there. The third straight one, two, three inning for John Waters. To the top of the fourth we go. Hopkinton leading Framingham five to nothing on H Cam. Top of the fourth inning, a five to nothing lead for the Hillers. John Waters, the pitcher, stepping into the right-handed batter's box, awaits the pitch from Keene. Takes a strike, 0 oh and 1. Waters flew out back in the second inning. He has pitched four very nice innings so far in this game. That pitch down low, one and one. Line up and the pitch, down low, two and one. John Waters has also contributed a bit with the bat this season, a 286 average, 375 on base percentage, only seven at bats, swing and a miss there, two and two. That was a home run type of swing there by Waters. He has scored a run and driven in a run. Down low. That'll fill up the count. Top of the order due up next for Hopkinton. Fouled away. Full count pitch. Inside, and he draws the walk. That'll bring up Tommy Ambrosoni. He's reached on an error and flown out so far. Tommy Ambrosoni, a 333 batting average on the season. 15 at bats, 500 on base percentage. And he'll take that one low. He's also scored several runs and driven in three. And he takes a strike, one and one. Waters with a lead off of first as another ball delivered to Amber Sony makes it two and one. Two one pitch. There's a strike. Two and two. And he'll put this one up the right side. Glove by the second baseman throws the second. And it is not in time. Everybody's gonna be safe. That'll bring up Ronnie Sheamus, the third baseman. We do have a new pitcher out there for Framingham. It's John Maluski who started off this inning on the mound. He came in for Andrew Keene. Keene went three innings, giving up five runs, three of which were earned. And also six hits. As there is a strike to Sheamus. Keen also hit a pair of batters and walked one. Did have a strikeout to his credit. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and one is the count on Sheamus. Sheamus has been 
Hit by a pitch twice so far today. Wind up and the pitch by Maluski. Down low. Two and one. John Waters at second. Ambersoni at first. No outs here in the fourth for the Hillers. Outside and Waters thought about going but retreated back to second. Maluski deals, and this is right back to Maluski. Throw to first for one, and that's all they'll get. A one to three out, but both runners do advance. Ambersoni up to second, Waters to third, Drew Rankatori to the plate. Rankatori has flown out and singled so far today. And takes that one high. Rankatori, a 500 batting average heading into this game. 481 on base percentage. And that's what he's hitting in this game, a 500. That pitch down low. Two on, one out for the Hillers. Both runners in scoring position. Waters at third, Ambersoni at second. Leg lift and the pitch. Breaking pitch in there for a strike, two and one. Wind up and the pitch. And he'll get a piece of this one hit high in the air. Could be trouble. Over to center field, that'll drop. Here comes Waters around to score. He'll score with ease. And then Ambersoni held up at third. But an RBI single for Rankatori, a nice piece of hitting there, put it right in the gap. And that'll bring up the cleanup man, Alex Barker Hook, who is one for two at the plate. Alex Barker Hook on the season, hitting a 200, 355 on base percentage. As Maluski looks at first and is set to deliver. There's a strike. So two on for the Hillers, one out in the inning. Runners on the corners. Maluski takes another glance at first and is set to deal. There's a ball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And this is hit in the air, foul ball right near us, and it is caught. And a runner from third thought about tagging, he'll retreat. Brian O'Donnell, the first baseman, making the catch. I thought I was Going to have to pull some matrix moves there to get out of the way of that one as Connor Kelly will step in. Line up and the pitch. Down low, runner from first taking off. Throw to third is going to get away. And here comes Ambrosoni. He's going to try to score, and he will. Seven to nothing, Hopkinton. Ambrosoni scoring on the air and throw. Rankatori up to second. Credit him with a stolen base. Maluski deals upstairs. Two and O oh on Kelly, who was hit by a pitch and flown out so far today. Drove in a run when he was hit by a pitch back in the first. Also scored a run as part of that five run inning. That pitch is in there for a strike, two and one. A seven nothing lead for Hopkinton here in the top of the fourth. 
There's a strike. And time is called. Cody Coleman wants to talk to John Maluski. Runner on second, two outs. Two more runs in here in this fourth inning for Hopkinton. They lead it seven to nothing. Connor Kelly, a 222 batting average on the season. And he'll get a piece of this one up the right side. Glove by the first baseman, flips it to the pitcher. He'll step on the bag for the out. A good team effort there, a three to one out. Four out, number three, two more runs, however. Score for the Hopkinton Hillers. They lead it seven to nothing as we head to the bottom of the fourth on HCAM. Bottom of the fourth inning, a seven to nothing lead for the Hopkinton Hillers. Top of the order due up for Framingham. Alexis Rivera, or excuse me actually, they're gonna have their extra hitter first, Aiden Dunbar, who's in the batter's box now. And he'll take ball one. So it's 10-1 and two due up. Aiden Dunbar, Alexis Rivera, Luke Springs. Waters deals, down low, two and oh. Line up and the pitch. And this is a fair ball up the middle, grabbed by the shortstop, throw to first in time. Nice throw over there by Cooper, one away. I'll bring up Luke Springs. And this is going to be up the left side. Throw to first is going to get away a little bit. And reaching safely is Springs. So I'm gonna score that a error on the third baseman. I'll make that Rivera, excuse me, reaching safely. That's getting used to the 10 man batting order that's getting to me. That'll bring up Luke Springs, the right fielder. One on, one out. That was Cam Jarrett at shortstop who made that play. He actually recently came into the game to take over at shortstop for Cooper. It's a good throw over for the first out of the inning. Swing and a miss there, one and one. So it's one out, runner on first. And a one and one count on Luke Springs. Upstairs. Bottom of the fourth here at Bowditch Field, a seven nothing Hopkinton lead. There's a strike, two and two. Well, Waters has been efficient so far in this game. He's not thrown a whole lot of pitches. And the runner from first going to take off. This is up the middle, and that is going to get through the gap for a base hit. So it'll be two on with one out for Framingham. That'll bring up Jack Beverly, the shortstop. Line up and the pitch. Inside, little chin music. Well, 
Waters set to deal. Fouled away. One and one. Waters deals, runner taking off from second. It is a strike, throw to third, and it's not in time. So both runners will move up. Springs moving up to second, and Rivera up to third. So now you got two in scoring position for Framingham. And one out. Big pitch coming up here. Inside, two and two. First real threat Framingham has had in this game. There's a called ball, that'll fill up the count. Beverly able to hold up the swing. Line up and the pitch. There's ball four. That'll load up the bases. Cody Coleman, the catcher, will step in. A cleanup man with an opportunity here to get his team on the board. Line up and the pitch, outside. Waters deals, down low. Two and oh is the count. And that's fouled away, two and one. Water set to deliver the two one pitch. Bases loaded, one out. And this is going to be a fair ball. Right back to Waters, throw home for one. Now the throw to first, and they double him up. How about that? A one, two, three double play to retire the side in the bottom of the fourth. And we will head to the top of the fifth with Hopkinton a leading Framingham, seven to nothing on HCAM. Top of the fifth inning, Jack Breslin stepping in for the Hopkinton Hillers, a seven nothing lead. It was a one, two, three double play to get the Hillers out of that top of the fifth. Framingham had bases loaded with one out. And some good def defensive baseball by the Hillers. Got them out of a jam. One and one, the count on Breslin. It's Jack Breslin, Dylan Locke, and Chase Doherty do up this inning. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Inside, two and one. Tom Nappy on the call for Hopkinton Hiller's senior Ruth baseball, John Ritz on camera. Certainly glad to see John out in the field once again as this is up the right side and it's gonna be dropped by the second baseman. And that was a tough play to make by the second baseman who got a little tripped up trying to glove it. I'm going to give Breslin a single on that one. We'll see what the official scorekeepers say, but I'll score that a single for now. Dylan Locke, the catcher, steps in. There's a strike. Throw down to first. Runner back safe. Oh, and one. The count on Locke. John Maluski in his second inning of work for Framingham.
takes a look at first and is set to deal. Down low. One and one the count. One one pitch. Inside. So far this game, Locke has doubled and walked. It was a three RBI double back in the first inning. He also scored a run, fifth run of the game. And he'll hit this one up the left side. That'll get through into left field as the sprinklers come on here at Bowditch Field. It'll be a single by Locke. Breslin up to second, and the sprinklers are on here at Bowditch Field. And some of the outfielders having to dodge the water. And right in the midst of that base hit by Locke, the sprinklers came on. And we are just hoping they don't come on near us. That could be an issue. So John and I getting ready to run with the equipment if we must. And they're going to have to make a phone call to get these sprinklers turned off before we can resume play. But some people here, uh, they're going to get a little bit wet. Getting a little more uh, than they wanted. <laughs> And they got about, it looks like five or six sprinklers, sprinklers on right now. And the majority of it in right field. And we're hoping that they can get this uh, figured out relatively soon so we can get back to baseball. But in the meantime, well, they get the sprinkler situation figured out. We'll remind you there are Two runners on, no outs for the Hillers. And we are in the top of the fifth with Hopkinton leading Framingham seven to nothing. We'll take a timeout on H Cam. Well, folks, they uh, tried to get the sprinkler system turned off. Unfortunately, they were not able to. So unfortunately, they are going to call the game here in the top of the fifth, the Hopkinton Hillers will take the victory over Framingham, seven to nothing. They were threatening once again before the sprinkler system came on. The Hillers ended up scoring seven runs on 12 hits and committed one error. Framingham was shut out after a good pitching performance by John Waters, but the Hopkinton Hillers take the victory over Framingham, seven to nothing. And I guess you could call it a sprinkler out here at Bowditch Field as the Hillers will improve to six wins, three losses, and a tie on the season. Framingham falling to four and five. Hopkinton victorious over Framingham. Seven to nothing in this sprinkler shortened game here in the top of the fifth inning. For John Ritz on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Senior Root Baseball on HCAM. Stay tuned to our website and our social media pages to find out when our next broadcast will be. But for everybody at HCAM, thanks again for watching and have a great night, everybody. We'll talk to you again soon.